my shit. Rap and rap after rap like you say, OP at the key. Bad stuff by the best friends, rap the beat at the beat. My shit is a high boy, wrestling, so hot and dangerous and being deep with shit a whole lot. Say that all niggas could be rolled too deep. When it came off sick, not getting the intro music. Sound of the BG. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that intro music. I just want to have a little bit of that on that to thump before I get to talking about this sharing. Have guys brace yourself. Brace yourself. Get ready for the petty. Get ready. Sharon, I ain't caring. Some people still battle, and some people probably have some a lot of people haven't heard this yet. But it's some people who have who still saying to themselves secretly. Not out in the open, but secretly, I don't have to share. I don't have to. I got my stuff together. Bottom lip look like like a porcelain sink or something like that stuck out so far. I don't have to. Everything I do, everything I say, goes and it works. My woman is not intrigued by nobody else. Read my lips. Nobody else. Only me. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Storytelling time. Story telling time. Everybody get your blankets, your little nightgowns and stuff, and get ready to get tucked in, get your fuzzy slippers and mud packs or whatever else y'all use, hair rollers. Or some of y'all just set the wig on the side of the bed. Get ready. For this week's sharing series about it's a bird, it's a plane, it's <laughs> all right, it's too early. There's only two minutes in. I cannot say that right now. Gotta wait for my critics to go and leave first. So sharing. Let's talk about sharing. I know a guy who sent me a death threat told me about how much trouble that he actually got into in the rough streets of Philadelphia Pennsylvania he got into some trouble in Philly he was at a nightclub and this one dude rolled up on him and said that his girl had been watching these videos about this dude talking about this sharing and he found out after doing some research that you was one of the cats she was sharing who he had to share with and he was pissed about this to the highest state of pissivity the guy that questioned the dude challenged him the one that approached him in Philadelphia one of the nightclubs decided to follow the other guy outside the people realized what was happening it was about to be a fight 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 and these grown folk guy that was being tailed and followed who I guess had had the other guy's woman tail bent up in the air or whatever. Say, hey man, I'm gonna sound like in his Jackie Chan voice, I don't want any trouble. Or was that Bruce Lee? Might have been Bruce Lee. I don't want any trouble. And so without there being any trouble, getting ready to come for 
this guy he ends up making it to his vehicle in time open up his door grab his pole that was inside his door handle and turn around and start popping them shells the guy who was in chase mode didn't realize what was happening he was close end up eating some Italian leather decorated in steel racing all through his body as the people now try to spread like the plate and racism the gun handling dude went over and made sure that the job was done faced over top of homeboy who had ate a couple of pieces of shells that just wouldn't leave him alone because of the misunderstanding the guy said man I didn't do anything I don't know your woman I just take care of my kids I don't have anything to do with that guy on the ground now got all five fingers spread reached out and extended begging for his life I just got the iPad please don't now you begging parking lot empty everybody's fled because they didn't want to get pelted by any of these rainstorms. So the guy knew he couldn't leave him there incapacitated like that. In, 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 incapacitated. Is that what you was? Indeed I was. And I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> Shout out to Safford and son. Fred G. My man Wilcox. So needless to say he started adding extra shells doom, 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 to make sure the job was complete and so he jumped into his vehicle and uh, skirted off the news didn't really know who did what to who when what where why and, and how but nonetheless to make a very long story short too late um, the guy ended up getting popped and probably was shaking almost like he had a Down syndrome or something like that. And uh, that made for a difficult evening for him, I'm sure. But he had to do what he had to do. And so he couldn't, he couldn't fake not being responsible and looking out for his own life. The man was wrongly accused. So, I got a letter from the guy the other day. I opened and read it. It said they were suckers. He told me he did it. And um, I told him, I said, I understand. The video caused a problem. You was defending yourself. Uh, one thing led to another. And this time it wasn't good. It happened. But whether you accuse of sharing or actually get caught sharing, one way or the other, it's all bad. Relationships don't work. 